So it's either a great stone or Victor offlane. I'm gonna guess that's a Victor jungler because you see that more nowadays. Oh no, it's actually Sock Cap. It's actually Sock Cap we're going against an offlane. Interesting. I actually think Victor is one of the few heroes that can do decently into Quan. Like Quan is usually like a very lane dominator, but against a Richter it might be a little bit rough because my combos are very like bursty but his shield is gonna be able to take that up every single time right so actually gonna be interesting to see how this goes um flex matrix first might actually be nice because the magical resets against him but i think fist of Rise 2 is better i always think you either go elephant or fist first i think those two arms are like your core arms you want to go at your first two you just change up the order depending on who you're facing. So if you get the magical damage here like Victor, you go first. If you get a great stone offering, then you go like Elephas first. Actually kind of wild that we're facing off in the off lane. Where's he at? I wanna like do my emote little dance. My ancestors must look upon me as a Where's your emo Sarkav? I thought you were like a one trick on Victor. Where's your mastery crown, my guy? My ancestors must look upon me. Dang, I guess I'm the only one that's in the emote in lane, unfortunately. My ancestors must look upon me as a fool. Alright, see how this goes then. Then my army I didn't went off. There's a small delay whenever you use your um abilities. Unlike Quan, especially the RMB, so whereas like work to Q is like instant, right? Again that happened again, so actually a little bit worth. I need to like use my RMB way earlier. Like that, so the shield can eat that up. Because the short trade from Ritual is gonna be better than my short trades for the time being at least. So until you get level 6 and start to like actually look to all in on the Victor, kind of have to play this lane on the most bomby side for the time being. I gotta also like shove this in ASAP before he try to hook me in. Like he might try to look for it pretty soon if I'm careful. Okay, missed the first hook. Nice, nice. Alright, got the wave shove in. I might actually go for river buffs. To try to like take that away from the Gideon. Maybe look for anyone that's still helping here. Nah, just pull him off for that. Pretty big. And my weapon is doing a good job in invading the blue side and trying to deny him all the creep. Nice, he said. That's a very good rampage walk because we're able to like stun lock the gravestone so he can't blink or leap out. Actually, really, really big. Speaking of big, this wave is actually pretty big, so if I play this patiently, I can probably just let this push out towards me and that put me in a lot safer spot against the Victor in lane. Because the Best time to like gank Richter is when he's like pushed up towards your tower because he has like no mobility whatsoever to deal with all that, right? Oh, that's a really big wave, so I can't go on that too hard, unfortunately. But he actually didn't walk away from my arm B, so we're gonna get the kill right there. Nice, nice. So I can't push this wave out fast enough, but that's fine. I want this wave to stay right here because if I let it stay right here, it's gonna push towards my turn, and that's gonna allow me to be in a really good spot coming back into lane. Because again, 
the best spot for me to put my wave is always closer to my turn because that makes Victor very vulnerable to ganks and make me very safe and avoid the whole like him hooking me into this tower kind of situation. Yeah, they used to, you used to be able to like emote while you're like sprinting, but that was a bug that they patched out, which I I felt like they should have kept that in because it looks silly, sure, but it made e emoting more fun because you can do some really funny emotes while like sprinting towards you, your enemies, right? I feel like it's a very missed opportunity just to keep it in and call it a feature, right? Okay, let's try. See if we can just get this to show up another way. Yes, we do. He let it go in. That's good. And we do see Grayson on the three cam. Maybe you can actually steal some camp. Thank you for the camp. Well, I'm sure I got one or two, but I stole something, and that's pretty dang good if I can steal something out of that way. Right? My way to show up in towards his turret. We do not want to like walk up at all. So he's definitely gonna try to fish for a hook. I just rather like play it safe, let it push out, and then we'd be fine. Uh, I missed my knockup. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna let this push out towards me because um, I can maybe try to get my Wayne again. Yeah, see how he's coming over because I call it out. Wow, he's running it all the way back there. Okay. Oh no, he actually just back. Dang. He just started backing immediately on my tail. So my Rampage won't be able to get much out of it unless he can actually steal that blue buff which we see where Grayson is at, he can actually get away with this. So it's actually like not bad for the play still. Okay, we're just in lane again. Rampage has 6 so we can probably look right here. He's gonna probably blink. He blinks. That's why I didn't use my ultimate because it won't kill. He's gonna blink out anyway, so we can kind of take that. No problem. An tower is under I do have Fist of Rasul on this reset, but um, I don't. I'm feeling very good right now. Double potions. I have most of my mana still, so I'm good to kind of like farm out still. So. Still gonna take another minion wave to bounce back towards me, but I can take two above while I'm waiting. Again, this is a cat we're talking about. I shouldn't disrespect him and walk up to the wave because he's gonna hook me, combo me, and he's gonna try to get a cheese kill on me like that, right? I would take the reset now, just because I have no mana to fight him to actually kill him. Plus, I think if I get this item and come back into lane, if he still sticks around, we can probably fish for a kill on into him. Either way, he's gonna be forced to kind of reset pretty soon. Cause if he does then, well, I'm just gonna run him down, right? So he's gonna probably shove out the wave, but that's still what I want because he's gonna like... No, he's resetting. I'm trying to tell him to counter retreat because he's definitely just resetting. So I'm trying to save for time, right? He's not in lane anymore, he's definitely resetting now. So, since I kind of forced that reset to happen, I have one item and a bunch of other like stuff to help me out. And now the wave is reset towards my side more, so... Now I'm in a really safe spot, which is in a really risky spot. I can just look to kind of all in on him pretty soon. 
Hey, what's up, MC? Oh, welcome, welcome to the live stream. Sorry, I didn't see you. There is a stream delay, so apologies if this cam comes out really uh, delayed to you. But appreciate you stopping by, my good sir. Nice. He missed the hook, so we actually got a very good trade out of that. See, waste on mid. I think I'm good to kind of farm out here for the time being. Someone coming over? That right count is um pinning me. Yeah, from there. Okay. I think I'm gonna try to go for this mid um with a buff right here. So I'm hoping Count's goal just goes for left and yeah, there we go. Nice. With a big kill onto the Gideon, love to see it. Team buff is coming up. I'm not sure if Sock Cap is gonna start it by the way or not. Okay, he's just gonna reset. On my way. I just need to shove out this wave really fast and then I can help the Rampage on this uh, mini farm. Oh, when they don't stand them to death. And it's even giving to me, that's actually really big. Because I'm kind of winning lanes, and I can actually really focus on trying to take down the tier 1 tower. There is that risk that I'm going to be pushing to his hook into tower kind of combo, but as long as I don't get hooked in without minions in tower, I should be fine. Oh yeah, if you guys have not checked out MT yet, he does stream occasionally and he does content on the YouTube side. He's kind of like the, like me where we also do ed educational content. He's like a mid laner kind of focused character. I'm like the opposite of a mid laner, so if you guys want to see some good educational content in the mid lane world especially, I highly recommend you check out MT over here. I feel the heaven's fury. I'm doing this because I'm trying to like chunk him as much as we can. Back off immediately because he's gonna try to look to hook me into the tower. Now we can go back in and try to focus on paying the tower for a little bit. Okay. This is not bad at all because again, we only worry about um, when he does that combo when I'm taking turn shots. But as long as I don't hit the Victor and I don't get hooked in before my minions crash, we don't have to worry about him at all. Yeah, we need about one more minion wave and it should be good to keep pushing. There we go. Now we can finally just force shove into the tower. He's backing right now. I don't think I can really do much damage to this turret. I can probably pick one like minion wave, then I have to back off by the way. So shove that in. And we can probably try to take the triple camp real fast. Then go for two buff. Then take a reset. Because I got a lot of gold to spend right here, ladies and gents. Okay, he takes a big camp. Not a big deal, because more than anything, it denies the great zone some farm right there. Oh, no two buffs still? Alright. 
pick up Elephos. Now we go to keep with this so we can get the damage. The, the Quan build just haven't really changed a whole lot because these items are still like very, very strong on him. Just make him really tanky and fix a lot of his issues. Not a lot of his issues, but fix some of the minimum issues he has and just make him like super, super strong because I'm feeling really good with these items. Once I get Elves Keeper, now I can stop the burst down people much faster, right? Missing right lane. Who's the problem? I get the ADC and mid laners, so we can focus uh Dane. I didn't get him. If I get him, I think I can just all in and kill him. I was a little bit too late. I should start to just look to rotate a little bit more aggressively at this point. Especially if there's no like blue side um to take from the enemy jungle. On my way. I think we can maybe catch someone right here. Yeah, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look at the Gideon, because yeah, on my way. Yeah, we got the Gideon that's huge. Now we try to get the Greystone. Huge. Wait, going going stronger right here. I blink. That's unfortunate. I think we can tower dive this, by the way. Ah, I missed my Q. People are spawning in. This is not worth me trying to like overstay my welcome. I'll make them back off so my spirit can finish the tower. Because getting that T1 tower knocked down is actually pretty huge. So I'll farm this white side because I think I can get my old keeper pretty soon. And that's going to be a really big power spike once I get this online. I haven't tried Prophecy Quan for the 1v1s. I just think you don't need Prophecy for if you want the 1v1 people. Like this build I've been running on Quan feels like it's just so strong in 1v1s already. Plus I think just going Prophecy makes you like very squishy, which I don't like on Quan. I like to build him like damage but also very tanky. And that's why I like these first two I'm stock feels very good on him. I'm going back. Okay, he wants to do prime. Yeah, we can bust this down. We have spell here too. Just gotta do it right away because I think Grayson might look at us. I'll wait to know we're on this. Yeah, just focus taking this down and then we'll be fine. Dang, they're also low. Got the Gideon. I mean, that yoink. Strong is still trying to go for me. That shouldn't kill me. I'll be right back. Alright. We we can all keep him now. Now our damage is gonna be really really dang good. I guess we get um plus matrix just so we can get the magic resistance against the game and also build tank but build more damage at the same time. I feel the heaven's fury. Yeah, so funny thing, I used to one old oath of gross and prophecy. That's kind of like the Shinbi build playstyle that I like to one on her that can also work on Quan. But again, we bring Quan to do a lot of burst damage but also be tanky, right? And prophecy just doesn't really click, in my opinion. Like, I think the kind of people that builds like prophecy Quan are probably the people that don't play a whole lot of Quan, right? 
it's kind of make him easier to play if that makes sense well like i just don't think it's necessary to build him like that still I play this slow. Okay. I can't tell if they're like actually um I guess they're all doing this, just the witch is trying to buy some time. Oh, I missed my Q, that sucks. It's ultimate still. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, it's actually really annoying to still have ultimates. I guess I got baited by him for the fact that he still held on to it. But I mean, we pick up a lot of kills. It just sucked that I get the kill shut down to him. We need to get the third thing just for sure. Because. Wait, what's the word? If we give the thing to yourself, they're gonna get permanent, like, that increases, which is pretty bad. Thank you for the kind words, for the pound's sake. That's a pretty happy stake right there. But it sounds very good at the same time. So after this, I'm thinking either go Magnify or Tame the Scepter. I think since I don't have a lot of healing, I can kind of just get away with like Magnify since that's technically a little bit better for my damage output. So the blue side is just not up at all, I guess. He's not here. On my way left, maybe we can look for a fight here. I'm knocked up. Uh, this is not looking as good. I'm gonna try one back towards my team because Grayson's obviously just gonna keep chasing me. I'm gonna wait for my Q to come back up first. Nice, that's huge. I will only rest a moment. Hi. Back for plus matrix. I guess wait till we're split pushing the whole entire time. Why would like going right there? The head seems long. I think he smiles at home. Maybe I can go for five honestly. Game's dead for another 20 seconds. And we see like Bongo on that left side. I think we just whip prime, by the way. We might have to 50-50 it, but it's gonna be like a 5v2. Bongo left side, Grace Bellica may come in. 
but I think we just bust these down because we have spare will. Like, we could literally just melt the check just like crazy. Okay, Grey Stones. Go focus Grey Stone first. It kind of works at 50 50. I finished the fire real quick. No, if it smite the fire, smite the fire. There we go. Now let's go for Fane too, by the way. Actually, Bellicus, that just called out. Actually, huge. Let's go push mid, actually. We can probably get two inhibitors off of this. There we go. Now we get two inhibitors off of it. Um, maybe we can get the Gideon. We have to get like something onto him. Oh, it's actually really huge. Nice, the kills just keep on giving right here. Why are we need to get the T2 tower? We actually can't get that left inhibitor. That's actually funny. Wait, you can't step up like that. Let's go for painters. Like me honestly I feel like we can we could have partial to end right there, but my main phase is already backing off. I guess we just go for the thing, then we reset. Alright, can magnify. I guess let's item. Let's go for uh, probably ten of guards since Jungle is like doing a lot of damage to us. I'm actually gonna look at left because I don't think they're gonna expect me to just run over left and just try to get like a gank on them. I'm looking at like. Going for Bellica right here, or Jungle, whoever shows up first. There's no wall right here too, so that's pretty big. I'm trying to see if anyone's gonna show up. Okay. See if two people mid. Just trying to figure out where people are at right now. I'm trying to look for picks. I have no vision, so it's not worth me trying to go on that, actually. Minions, it's gonna be well, not like old farm, it's gonna be hard to try to find a pick. I might actually have to go right to help out because the account is kind of like struggling against that. Stand straight. I was actually thinking about staying and try to go on that drone girl, but I want to play on the safe side and get this brick too. Get him still. Nice. An ally has been 
Oh, a lot of action happening over there. I like I got shit for kill. They're too far away for me to run over it, so I'll just push out mid. And if I get left, I'll push out too. The enemy core is under attack. Judgment! Nothing really to do until objectives are coming up. So I guess we just get ready for Prime. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get ready to do Prime. I might actually push out one more wave though. Because I think they're all gonna dog pile on Prime, is my guess. So I can probably get a sneaky like left and hit push perhaps. Or maybe try to get a lone pick. Onto someone like Drongo, right? I might try to go for that play. Okay, yeah, now they will see me. They're gonna probably come through right there. There's Velika right there, so I can't exactly go in because I think they can actually keep me away really good. But because I, I was doing all that, it was a 4v3 for my team, so it was like very like free. Nice. Actually, I'm gonna go look at Drongo. Try force this blink out if he has it. This is the dead inhibitor. There's nothing he can do. Yep. Yeah, that should actually be GG. It's all like the surrender um, right there. So nice. Pretty solid stuff. Again, that's supposed to be like one of Quan's like worst mashups. Because Winter is like a very like strong lame bully. Like especially a big lane bully against um characters that rely on short trades to win lane. Like Quan is all about short trades in the other game. He really can't take long trades until he gets like his items online. So all things considered, we actually did really good in the matchup against like the Witcher and we actually did really good overall just finding like those kills and like big plays as a team. Because we almost got nearly top damage on the team, which is wild considering the fact that we are Comparing this to a Countess and Sparrow, just doing a whole lot of damage just in general. It's actually really big stuff. Well played by the team right there. Love to see it.